الرحمن الرحيم Assalamualaikum and greetings and welcome to DIY Woodworking TV. Yes, I am in my heavy suit. Uh, actually, I'm getting old, so I feel more cold, and that is why I keep putting on more and heavier clothes. It's not that cold in my house, actually. Kiddos are working. I mean, they are studying in the background. Woodworking to do. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we build that uh, that yes that study table for kids with a lot of storage in it let me give you a closer look first first of all yes these chairs if you like these wally eyes or wally chairs for kids check out our video on our DIY woodworking TV how we build these chairs but in this video we are talking about this table it opens and have a storage in there for them plenty of storage right uh, yes, of course. And a uh, nice little legs design. These legs have another story why I had to quickly build these legs. Uh, it's, uh, I'm going to tell you what happened, obviously, in the video. But this is the study table. At the moment, some areas are not colored. It's because we have run out of colors. We have run out of uh, screws as well for woodworking and because of the outbreak all the shops markets and everything is closed and New Year's of obviously Chinese New Year everything is closed as well. So as soon as businesses are opening we are going to get more paint and more colors to complete the coloring on this table. Now my other idea is de definitely it's not completed because we are running out of screws and stuff. We are going to build uh, stuff here like uh, you know shelf this this table is gonna go in that corner and I'm gonna build some shelves up here so the kids can do some books of storage and put some things there and also Arish says we should is install some lights and um, USB charging ports which we are going to do so go ahead check out how we build this uh, study table sweet study table for kids in our little woodworking workshop so this all starts with a simple hand drawing. My cartoonish drawing, I and kids are trying to get an idea how we are going to build the study area. So for now we want to build the base, I mean the main study table first and shelves and other things will come later. I am involving my kids actively because they love woodworking with me together in our little woodworking workshop. I let them do the measurements and then I cut the stalks, the bigger ones using miter saw. Kids did help me in this as well. Throughout this process right here while I'm cutting stalks, kids are standing here uh, helping me out and also giving me ideas how they want their table to be, how big they want it to be, how wide they want it to be, how much uh, storage area they want inside the table. So according to their ideas, I am doing the measurements and cutting the stocks. Now this is a very, very nice tool here because now I have to cut 10 degree angle only. And this uh, angle ruler, digital angle ruler marker actually helped me very well to mark the 10 degrees exactly and then I experimented with my miter saw sliding miter saw and it actually did a very fine 10 degrees cut right here yes exactly 10 degrees as we wanted and everything is nice and square now it was time to cut the stalks for making the base which will obviously form and storage in this whole frame as well. Kids went up for food while I still work so I realized the table saw is a very good tool and we can even use it for uh, as a joiner, a jointer and planer. No need to you know turn on my planning machine again and again. I'm cutting other pieces that will fit on the front side and won't interfere with the folding, I mean opening and closing main table base on which my kids will work. 
I bring out my pocket hole jig and drill pocket holes in these three big pieces and they will fit on the back piece very well. Initially my idea was and that is why I cut such a big back piece because my idea was to mount this whole table on the wall using few screws and I didn't have any plan to make any legs on this table. This table should be mounted on the wall. So according to that idea I actually kept working on this frame the base and the top as well but later according to my wife's idea Mary says it, it would be better to add legs because she didn't want me to drill too many holes in different walls around the house so I had to change my plan and plan to build the legs which I will do later in this video and you will watch it I went ahead and did routing, uh, cornering, uh, rounding the corners of the pieces early in this stage because I didn't want to do it later. I want everything to be ready for the assembly. Now it was time to cut the big piece of plywood and our cheap straight cut jig for the circular saw came very handy and made life really easy to cut. I did have to call Mary down for helping me with this huge big heavy plywood. After cutting it into three pieces it was easy job for me to cut the rest of the pieces. Now it was time to install the top plate, the first top plate, uh, the plywood base and it was an easy task all I had to do is mark where the screws will go in and I was plenty generous to give it a lot of screws I didn't want it to be a loose kind of uh, <laughs> assembly so I gave it a lot of screws and it is like rock solid on top of that now I went ahead and installed the base plates, uh, base stocks to form the complete base and the storage area. Early I didn't want to do it because I thought I'll do the assembly upstairs when I bring the table up and after installing the, uh, the whole big frame on the wall then I will assemble it. But as I mentioned my plans changed and I went ahead, uh, drilled the screws, screw holes and added these uh, stocks early on this in this project I didn't have to do the assembly upstairs so now I'm adding the screws into this top plywood base and making it rock solid time to around the edges of uh, other pieces as well so I went with my uh, little router that I have installed inside my work table. I cut a simple angle at one side of this big plywood piece which will obviously open and close and I didn't want it to actually look very bad or you know not properly squared. After that it was easy to mount and you can see everything looks perfect so far according to my plan. So I went ahead and routed the other edges uh, round because I wanted to uh, I want this piece to look beautiful not too edgy and yes I realized keeping the dust from this project is a good idea because later there was a piece uh, a couple of pieces broken on plywood and I filled those pieces with wood glue and that dust I collected and it matched the color. As I'm running out of screws I thought it was a good idea to use wood glue and bread nails with the nail gun and it did the job and actually made my work faster and it was quicker to install all these pieces properly. Now that these pieces have installed I had to cut uh, another uh, two little pieces so that I can install the hinges, the concealed hinges for the big piece of plywood that will open and close for this storage area. Now this was my very first time to install concealed hinges so I was a bit nervous not to wreck my big expensive piece of plywood right there. 
So after installing these small pieces, I went ahead with a small scrap piece of plywood and practiced installing the uh, hinges and I found everything went very well. So I took a 35 mm uh, size of drill bit and drilled a hole deep enough to install uh, the concealed hinges inside and my idea of leaving 0.5 uh, you know centimeter was really nice as it worked perfectly now the hinges sit nice and good and I have to see how to install the the lower part down there so I use a piece of wood as a support and install the screws in the rest of the hinges I didn't have to make a slight uh, chisel job because I wanted to fit everything right no uh, cornering around here and there going out of the line and that actually did a very good job now I send the rest of the piece on the back so it will move nice and fluid on this big piece of plywood once it was done it was time according to change plan to cut the pieces for the legs and then uh, assemble the legs so I went again with my uh, curve making tool cut dados and made a simple design of these uh, pieces uh, of these legs as you can see right here instead of one piece in the middle I went with two by ripping them apart and it actually made a very nice simple design it was nice and square and it was very solid and I tested it it actually took a good amount of load so I was happy that it will take the load of the table and kids working on that steady table now I decided to cut the pieces uh, using the handsaw because I needed some exercise moving my hands nice and fast and you can see I actually cut all these little triangles using hand saws only and I really don't like to waste these little little pieces that I'm cutting so I had a good idea and I didn't I did use those pieces these little triangle pieces to make a new design all right legs are ready and I have sanded them as well it was a little mistake here I'm cutting dados but I covered it with glue and some chips wood chips wood chips wood chips now these are okay I think the design is okay but I'm still not satisfied I think I can improve it with uh, a little bit of thing idea and some scrap wood pieces so the pieces that came off from here the pieces came off from other these are the pieces from different projects now compare this compare this with this I think this looks a little bit more mm, complicated or probably after coloring it will look more beautiful the left one looks more slightly more better than the right one I mean I can always keep it very 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 simple just like this but I think this looks like kind of you know X and you know maybe I can remove these Mm, and maybe I can remove these as well yeah they, I mean adding the pieces does give you a bit more of the design so I'm just gonna go crazy and add them anyway now after using my belt sander and sanding these pieces nice and good it was very easy to install them with uh, wood glue and bread nails as I'm running out of screws once again I didn't want to waste more screws here I did all the job with wood glue and bread nails because anyway these pieces are not going to take any kind of load these are here only for beautiful design after that black spray paint on the legs top and bottom and in the middle I will do uh, golden color because I'm running out of white color on the spray paint it was time to install the legs on this table so once again I went generous with some long screws and uh, bread nails 
those were really big screws but I have no choice because again I'm running out of screws installing the legs was easy and quick and basically they actually take a lot of load after installing the legs it was time to do some uh, spray paint job once again the remaining golden spray paint came in very handy and I went ahead generously spray painted gold color on the legs now everything is done and I'm installing the final piece with concealed hinges I removed it so that I can install legs and putting it back together was simply piece of cake all right I will actually stop here I have to stop here because I'm running out of the colors now I have only one yellow left and one white uh, that is transparent right there so there's no way I can color the rest otherwise I was planning to color the whole thing you know so my kids will feel better but I'll just leave it like this uh, I don't have color here okay door opens nice and good I mean the study table opens up very nice inside there's plenty of storage this coloring left I mean down there and inside and and this side this coloring left so basically just these little things we can do later for now at least my kids have a table to work and you know to continue their studies time to bring it up and this is heavy man I cannot bring it up so I have to call Mary down and we'll bring it up together 